Hi, welcome back. This is Nick Egram once again. I will be discussing the double angle formulas or double angle identities. Okay, as you can see here, I have the double angle of sine is equal to 2 sine theta, cosine theta. To prove this, I, I uh, pasted the uh, sum and difference of two angles formula here. And I'm going to use this formula. Let's see if I can find a pen. This one, I'm going to use this to prove that these are equal. So if I have sine um, theta plus theta, that is equal to sine theta cosine theta plus cosine theta sine theta. These expressions are equal or these terms are equal, then we have 2 sine theta cosine theta. Then we have prove, proven that uh, sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. Okay? The cosine is still similar, cosine theta at 2 theta is equal to this formula cosine theta cosine theta minus sine theta multiplied by sine theta which is uh, cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta okay But we know that cosine theta, cosine squared theta, cosine squared theta is also equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So we have 1 minus sine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Then we get 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. I... Uh, have proven that and I have proven that also. How about if we say that sine theta squared theta is equal to 1 minus cosine squared theta. Then we have uh, cosine squared theta minus 1 minus sine, cosine sorry cosine squared theta. Then we have cosine squared theta minus 1 plus cosine squared theta. Then we have cosine 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. So all of these formulas are equal to cosine 2 theta and we have cosine 2 theta. There you go. How about tangent? Maybe I can use another pen here. Tangent 2 theta. 2 theta. Then we can use this formula. So we have tangent theta. Tangent theta plus, sorry. Divided by 1 minus tangent uh, theta. Tangent theta again. Then we have tangent and tangent. We have two tangent theta divided by one minus tangent squared theta. Then we get them all. Okay. And as a result of the double angle formula, we have what we call the reduction formulas. And the reduction formulas are this. This one, this formula come from this formula, this one. Okay, so if I'm going to show you that, then I have cosine 2 theta. Oh, sorry. 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. And then if we subtract both sides of the equation by 1, then we have cosine 2 theta 
minus 1 is equal to negative 2 sine squared theta. This one now is equal to 0. So if we divide both sides of the equation by negative 2, negative 2, then we have negative and negative that will become positive. So we have 1 minus cosine 2 theta divided by 2. Then we get the first production formula. And then another, we have cosine squared to theta. We know that it is from this formula. So we have cosine 2 theta is equal to uh, 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. If we add both sides of the equation by 1, then we have 1 plus cosine 2 theta is equal to 2 cosine squared theta. If we divide both sides of the equation by 2, then we have 1 plus cosine 2 theta divided by 2 is equal to cosine squared theta. You don't need to remember these uh, reduction formulas. You can only remember or memorize the double angle formula. Okay, This one becomes 1. I forgot that this is also become so one. For the last one, we have tangent squared theta is equal to 1 minus cosine 2 theta and divided by 1 plus cosine 2 theta. As you can see here, we have uh, sine squared. This should be equal to sine squared. What happened? I don't know. This should be equal to sine squared. That's not the pen that I used. Sine squared theta. Okay, and this one is the cosine theta. This one is the cosine theta, and this one is the sine theta. So if, if we have tangent squared theta, that is equivalent to or equal to sine squared theta divided by cosine squared theta. And we know that sine squared theta is 1 minus cosine 2 theta. And cosine squared theta is 1 plus cosine 2 theta. So as you see now, uh, we have proven the, ta the reduction formula for tangent squared theta. So you can use everything that you have learned here. Um, there will be more, the half angle formula, for example. But uh, as of now, then uh, we'll be satisfied for this. And uh, for the double angle formula and the reduction formula. And uh, in my next video, I will start uh, solving some examples. So I hope you will be there on my next video. Have a nice day and thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.